Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about living for the will of God. Living for the will of God. We've learned from 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 and 2, that we are to live for the will of God. And we see this instruction. We see this direction from God in his word coupled with a couple of things that go hand in hand with living for the will of God. Namely, we are to live with the same way of thinking as Jesus the Christ. And even more than that, we've been commanded to arm ourselves, to arm ourselves with the same way of thinking, the same attitude as Christ, the same mind as Christ, the same purpose as Christ, the same way of thinking as Jesus the Christ. And in case that sounds a little too big to grab a hold of, the scriptures gave us more clarity. Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, we are Christian to arm ourselves with the same way of thinking. So we are to live the will of God in large part by thinking the way Christ thought. We are to arm ourselves, to arm ourselves, to be ready for battle, to be ready to suffer with the mindset of Christ. And in so doing, we are in part fulfilling the will of God. I want to encourage you to align your thought life with the thinking of Christ, to recognize that your thought life is a battlefield and the degree to which you live, love, and think like Christ, you're winning. And the degree to which you compromise or rationalize any aspect of the word, the will, and the ways of God represents a stumble, if not a loss, on the battlefield. I pray that you'll take your time, walk through the true in-depth, full context meaning of God's word. You can start here in 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. And I pray you'll not only be built up on and for the battlefield, but that you'll be blessed no matter what. Amen and amen.